the Irish crew are in the midst of the Iron Guard Marathon. Jess, Mirren and Dublin's Emily are just finishing the paddle. I'm so glad to have to laugh. I'm eh? While Dylan is badly behind. Coach Chris isn't best pleased. Hey, there's always got to be the person that brings up the rear. I'm going to be here for the next few weeks, every single day. When I'm done with you, you won't even be able to talk back to me. You know that? Dylan is in dangerous territory. Coach Chris hates junior guards that talk back. Come on, Dylan. Come on, Dylan. Come on, Dylan. That palvo would not move. I haven't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Dylan, you ever seen a bullseye before? No, have you? You know, you're going to see one. Trust me. A couple of your friends came last year, same attitude. And I straightened them up real quick. They didn't, weren't able to talk anymore and have an attitude. So what I'm going to do is every time you open your mouth, I'm going to punish your seven friends. OK? So the seven of you guys right now, for his mouth, can go run around tower four and back. Go. And if I see you guys walk, you guys are going to run 10 times. OK? Dylan, no, you relax. I want you to rest. I need you to rest, OK? Keep running your mouth like that, and we'll see what happens. You understand? This yeah, is my camp, yeah, all right? Keep running, keep running your mouth. Keep running your mouth. Keep it going. They're going to run again. Like, I'm not, I'm not a cheeky person, like, but he was just, he was really just, he just wasn't nice, like, he really wasn't. You better run faster than that, because if I catch you guys, you guys will be running all day long. So that's an extra 1K, and Dublin's Kira isn't coping. During the run, I just started, like, gagging. I just, like, felt like I was going to, like, like a bit like breakfast was making a reappearance. You guys ran as a group. That's the one thing I can say that I was impressed with you, OK? You flap your gums at me, trust me, the rest of you will suffer, OK? Or take a plane trip home. I don't care. All right, let's get over there with the Americans. We're going to start over. This time, I want it to be good. With six and a half K to go, the magnitude of what they've taken on is just dawning on them. Three weeks of this, it's gonna make somebody out of me at least. I'm afraid to see what's gonna happen next. My legs are gonna fall, my arms are just dying. Today has been a shock. We're all dead over there. Just giving you guys a heads up, this is nothing compared to how you guys are gonna feel on the first day of camp. And I know your times, because I'm smart like that, okay? If you do not beat your times, all right, we'll do it again. It's now 11 o'clock. We can be here all day. I don't have anywhere to go. Neither do you. We have nothing planned for the afternoon. We'll skip right through lunch and keep competing. You guys want to do that? Then improve your time, OK? All right, guys, you ready? So the pressure is on Just to be on top form. Be better. You're in the hands of the starter. Within seconds, Kira's in trouble again. Shaking and with shortness of breath, she stopped. Uh, one of the Irish girls was throwing up, and it was about a 200 meters run. You ever worked out in your life? Yeah, no, I, I just don't do like running. I'm more of like a swimming. I'm really sorry. Well, don't be sorry. I don't want you doing it if you can't do it. My name is Kira. I'm 16, and I'm from Dublin. Family is one of the most important things to me. Like, we do everything together. I'm probably the loud one. Any awkward silence, I fill it with talking. I tend to rab it a lot. I will miss my family, but I'd say I can contain it for, like, America. I think I'll last. I want to be a lifeguard, but I can only learn in a pool here. When I go to Florida, I can learn in, like, in the sea with amazing coaches. It might be a bit intense over the first couple of days. Because swimming, I'm grand, but the running, not so much. I hope I get used to it. I don't want you doing it if you can't do it. No, I can, I can, I don't know. No, I'll do it, no, I'll go. Extra lifeguards are employed to look after her. All right, so right now I got a, uh, Kira saying she doesn't feel good, but she didn't, maybe not didn't eat enough um, this morning. And she's feeling shaky. But she didn't want to give up. I'm just like horrific at running. I like collapse every five paces. Meanwhile, there's a competition going on. 
Michael is in the lead for the Irish, closely followed by little Sean and Mirren. And what's this? Dylan is making a comeback from last to fourth place. But for the second time today, Dublin's Emily has gone down, this time with a sore knee. As I brought in the surfboard, I don't know what I did, I just whacked my knee so bad and I just really want to do it. I want to get it finished. Oh. Emily decides to soldier through, being closely monitored by instructor Catherine. She doesn't last long. After just five minutes, the wannabe lifeguard gets saved. I just gave up. I couldn't do it. It was so sore. I'm just knackered. I'm Emily. I'm 16 and I'm from Dublin. I'm going over to Florida to represent all the girly girls in Ireland and hopefully to make them proud. One of my greatest passions is pageants. You know, ever since I've started, I've been addicted. I definitely think it brings out the competitive side to me. There's a great sense of achievement when you win a big crown at the end of the day. This lifeguard course, this is the biggest challenge I've ever done in my life. If I'm struggling with the course, I wouldn't mind, you know, a nice American, you know, to come save me, you know, nice and shining armor. So you can't swim with your knee? You guys fell apart the second lap, huh? We did. Yeah. We're coming back stronger tomorrow, I hope. Okay. That's what, that's what that's the rumor I've been hearing. Let's see if it's true. But for now, it's got worse. Kira's panicking out at sea and requests help. Back on shore, she's given up altogether. Nobody quits in this course. If they quit, they're going to be hurting. Kira, I got to tell you, it's going to be harder. I don't know if you're going to make it through this class. No, I know. No, you're and I know, I know it's gonna get harder. Come on. Sean! Let's go, run around four, you're done, go to five. It's a tradition here in Florida, especially if you're gonna be on this camp, to yeah. be the best. No, right? I know, I know. You're right, no. I I'm, failed I'm more fail. people in my lifeguard camp than any other camp can fail. Okay. All right, I'm not proud of that, it's just something that we have a standard. Yeah, no, I know. And right now, you're way below that standard. I'm really disappointed in myself for stopping and like, no, I should have done better and I just, no. But some have managed the full 13K Iron Guard. Michael is in first, followed by little Sean and Mirren. Next, it's a neck and neck. Dylan and Big Sean in a sprint finish. Whoa! Guys, beat a girl this time! Sean, go, Sean! Sean get him, Sean! Sean. Sean well, Sean. almost sprinting. Oh, they're gonna puke. And remember, this was just the prelims. The real course hasn't even started yet. I'm gonna pass out. So after an exhausting session where everyone pushed themselves further than ever before, was it enough to impress Coach Chris? Kira, you have anything to say for yourself? I promise you, I will do better. I, I'm not gonna give up. I will do better, I promise. I'm just saying, it doesn't look good right now. No, I know, I know. This class. Yeah. Dylan, do you have anything to say? Um, let's try, try harder. Give an answer. You can grind your mouth all you want. Trust me. But your little friends here will get punished for you. So remember that. When I tell you to do the something, exertion of the last few hours has taken its toll on okay. Dylan. Trust me, everybody has been in this. He's camp feeling for a long unwell. Time. They know. When I tell them to do something, you. You all right? Can you get up or no? Yeah. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now. Do not eat a big breakfast. If you're going to plan on coming out here for when we start camp, two hours earlier eating breakfast. If you think this is tough. Wait till camp starts. Next time on Mission Beach, do they sink or swim in their first day's training? The heat is actually killing us. <coughs> and it 
It's game on with the US guards. Mike's going to go that way, and I'm going to go that way. So I'm going to run the ball down the end zone and win. Come here, baby! <laughs>